What's up, everybody? Crash here, and welcome back to another episode of Crash Against the Spread, where we talk about sports from a betting perspective. Uh, it is Monday, January 29th. There are 12 NBA games. We're only going to bet two of them, so we'll go over those two. Uh, if you like the content, like the video, please like the channel, subscribe, uh, share with your friends. We are trying to grow the channel one day at a time, and you guys are the biggest help in doing that. Uh, before we get into today, let's talk about yesterday. Uh, NFL Championship Sunday. Um, I had the totals wrong, mixed up. Uh, other than that, I feel pretty good about yesterday. Uh, technically, we went three and one, or three and two. Um, our parlay missed. Uh, we were trying to thread the needle with Baltimore money line and Kansas City plus four and a half, and I missed the over. So the final score ended up seventeen to ten. Um, sitting there reminding my boys uh, while we were watching the game yesterday that the halftime score of the Houston Baltimore game was 10 to 10. So still pretty confident going into the uh, second half, but that Kansas city defense uh, showed up and showed out. So um, held Baltimore uh, back. They just, uh, they just weren't uh, prepared, I guess, you know, prepare for every other game this season, but Kansas city threw some different at them. So, Total didn't get there. Uh, we got there with Kansas City plus four and a half. Uh, Detroit, San Francisco. Um, tried to be sharp with the under. And uh, we knew it was in danger in the first half. So, uh, But Detroit plus seven, uh, too many points. Too many points in a playoff game uh, versus uh San Francisco, who's had some defensive issues over the past couple of weeks. Um, Last-minute touchdown, got us that cover. So, plus seven cashed, under 51, uh, no good. So, two and three we went. Uh, on to today, uh, I like two NBA games. I'll go ahead and go over those real quick. Knicks at the Hornets. Um, Knicks are... Seven and a half point favorites on the road in Charlotte. Totals at 223 and a half. Uh, short, sweet, simple. I'm on the Knicks here. Um, Knicks minus the seven and a half. Hornets are two and eight in their last 10 games, straight up and against the spread. Uh, Randall is out with a shoulder injury, but ball is questionable with an ankle. And um, this Knicks team is just way better than the Hornets team, um, even if. Uh, the Hornets try to keep it close. I've seen Jalen Brunson uh, put the put the game on his back and blow the fourth quarter open. So that's at least what I expect, if not a full game blowout uh, from the Knicks. So Knicks minus seven and a half in that one. Suns at the Heat. Uh, Heat are three and a half point favorites against the Suns in Miami. Um, Heat are zero and five in their last five games with that last loss being to the Knicks, 125-109 the other day. I can't back the uh, Heat in this spot. Uh, Suns are coming off a back-to-back. And they are coming off a loss to the Magic, who just got Franz Wagner back, which is a good piece for them um, as far as uh, the, the piece that they've been missing while they've been in this kind of slump and losing streak. So he's back now. Provided some defense and some minutes for them and um, got them back in the game because they were down 13 early in this game and uh, fought to come back and won it 113-98. So, uh, Suns on a back-to-back. Um, I think they'll get up for this one. I don't think they'll overlook the heat and um, try to get this, try to split this uh, back-to-back trip. So, Suns plus three and a half. It's the only way I can look in that one. Booker did score 44 last night, but KD, I think, was held to like 16 points or something like that. So I expect a better effort from him. 15 points. Yeah. Booker scored the 44. KD played 37 minutes and was held 15 points. So uh, if anything, I expect a better effort from him. And I expect the Suns to win this game outright, if not cover this three and a half. So. Those are going to be my two picks. 
I'm going to stop trying to make this crash against the total and keep it crash against the spread. So Knicks minus seven and a half. Suns plus three and a half uh, for Monday's picks. Lock those in. Let's get this money. And we will be back tomorrow for some more NBA action. Talk to you then.